avalanche photodiode it is one why, why it is called avalanche photodiodes any reason a bite is called avalanche photodiode any reason it is a uh, previous one was pin okay why it is called pin because p type and n type are combined together to form that photo detector why it is called avalanche here because avalanche effect will take place what is the avalanche effect that is the multiplication of the charge carriers within that depletion region okay so it will increase it will get multiplied electron hole pairs get multiplied as a result there will be what avalanche breakdown okay so this uh, apds is what it is a high sensitivity p type uh, p uh, doped layer increases the electric field across the absorbing region so this happens avalanche effect will take place whenever wherever there is a high field region in the depletion uh, area okay high energy electron hole pairs ionize other sides to multiply the current leads to a greater sensitivity so this is the uh, diode avalanche photodiode you can see here the configuration n plus p intrinsic p plus n plus means it is a highly doped p is what it is lightly doped if instead of p if it was n then it is again a lightly doped so n plus means heavily doped p plus means heavily doped with the p type uh, um, dopant and the small uh, this p without any sign is what it is lightly doped and this is the intrinsic region so as you can see it is a biased okay again it is a reverse biased the field existing high field region is existing at this particular point it is n plus p instead of n plus p intrinsic p plus you can also go for p plus n intrinsic n plus okay aise hum log change kar sakte hain combination only thing is our aim is to achieve a high field region which is at this point n plus n p this is the actually a high field region where exactly the avalanche multiplication or the impact ionization takes place okay you can see here the field is shown there is a peak field here okay high field region so this is the region at which the avalanche effect happens so avalanche photodiodes they want to do they internally multiply the primary signal current before it enters the input circuitry of the amplifier it is the signal which is falling on this junction okay the signal means what the uh, of uh, uh, what is that uh, light light which is falling on this junction what will happen it will excite the electron hole pair from the valence band to the conduction band and those excited electron hole pairs what it will do it will again in turn excite more number of uh, electrons uh, creates a more number of electron hole pairs as it is in the stimulated emission jaise like humne laser mein padha tha waise hi detector mein yahan pe avalanche multiplication hota hai so uh, this increases actually the receiver sensitivity since the photo uh, current is multiplied before entering the uh, thermal noise associated with the uh, circuit thermal noise is basically arising due to the random motion of the electron flow within this device okay so this uh, before that thermal noise uh, getting added there is a multiplication which is taking place hence the receiver sensitivity is going to be high okay so this uh, photo generated electron hole uh, electrons or the holes can gain enough energy so that it ionizes the uh, bound impact ionization so is isme jo electron hole pairs create hote hain so it is having a uh, enough energy to excite the other electrons okay from the valence band to conduction band hence there is what generation of the charge carriers so this charge generation of the charge carriers keeps on multiplying okay so as a result this is called as impact ionization okay so the newly created carriers are also accelerated by the high electric field thus gaining the enough energy to cause the further impact ionization so this impact ionization effect is called as avalanche effect okay so uh, so at one particular point the avalanche effect is what does not uh, it will not cause uh, the diode to cross the threshold point it is the current will not flow but after certain after reaching the threshold point what will happen the charge carriers will increase drastically okay drastic increase in the charge carriers will happen 
So where there is a drastic increase in the charge carriers takes place after the threshold point that is called as avalanche effect. So after that avalanche effect happens, there is a current flow in this circuit. Okay, this is the circuit. So after the avalanche effect takes place, then there is a current flow through the circuit. Any doubt in this? So when it is reaching the uh, avalanche effect, uh, that is a threshold point that is called as reach through. Okay, so it is called as reach through uh, point. So APD, we can call it as a reach uh, through de device also. Okay. So the reach through avalanche photodiode or in short, we can call it as RAPD. RAPD or APD. Okay. Any doubt in this? Any no, ma'am. Okay. So why it is called a, uh, avalanche photodiodes? Because there is an avalanche effect taking place. When, when there will be avalanche effect, whenever the photon of light is falling on the high field region, it is exciting the electron hole pair. So the excited electron hole pair in turn excite, uh, creates new electron hole pair. Okay. That is called as avalanche multiplication. As a result, that electron hole space go on increasing. That is called as impact ionization. After reaching the certain threshold point, the current drastically increases where the avalanche breakdown takes place. Okay, so this is called as uh, avalanche photodiode, and uh, it is reaching that threshold point. That is why it is called as where uh, after reaching the threshold point, there is for impact ionization, the current flow or avalanche effect is happening. That is why it is called as uh, it is called as reach through device, or in short, they will call as RAPD. So is me kya hai? Is me zada? It is more sensitive. Avalanche photo detector uh, or avalanche uh, APD diode ele electronic amplifier built in. That is the amplification which is happening. Or yahan pe maine ek term I skip. That is the current. Okay, it is a signal current. It is given as m into beta q divided by h p into p. P is what that photon current which is incident on that. And M is what? It is the multiplication factor. Nita Q, it is uh, efficiency. Uh, what is this? Elect uh, electron charge, Planck's constant, and V is equal to C divided by lambda. So better sensitivity than the P I and I O. Okay, temperature sensitive, data rate can achieve up to 2.5 gigabits per second. P I and diode is a wide band. Okay, it is operating in 800 to 1600 nanometer range. High data rate, which is up to 100 gigabits per second. Okay, so these are the characteristics of the uh, both the diodes. Bias voltage, it is operating. Temperature sensitivity is more in APD. 